Hey guys, welcome back. Why is my leg just there? That's kind of hit that subscribe button and join the squad. Who's FaceTime me? All right, so today's video is going to be super fun, and I've never done a DIY like this before. But I think it turned out really cute because I already did it and now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So yeah, if you want to see this video, then just keep watching. Alright, so today I'm doing a dollar store DIY on this empty wall that I have right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, my friend actually told me about this and shout out to her because this turned out really cute and everything that I bought ended up being literally less than, I think it was literally $5 for this whole thing and $5 to make your wall look really cute is a good deal. So yeah. So I basically got four of these picture frames from the dollar store. These are the 11 by 14 so yeah it just looks like this and i kind of just wanted this because the frame was kind of skinny i don't really want a thick one i don't think it'll look as cute and also these were the biggest picture frames i found so i kind of wanted to take a lot of space up i got four of them from the dollar store and for the next part of this video the next part of the diy you're gonna need a printer and you're gonna need a computer Okay, so the next step is going on your computer and searching on Pinterest, like cute pictures. So I'm going to be looking at some pictures on Pinterest. And yeah, if you guys already have like a board already saved, then this is the perfect time to print them out or like anything that you want. Say you want flowers, search like cute flower background, cute flowers. You can search like, I searched the beach, you can do mountains, you can do literally anything. And I liked to look up places like the city, stuff like that. So yeah, basically just go on your computer or your iPad or whatever it is that connects to the printer and search up really cute Pinterest pictures. And then you're gonna wanna hit the three dots in the corner and click on download image. And then it's gonna be saved to your camera roll and then you're gonna wanna print that out on regular printer paper and then you're gonna try to like customize it to fit the whole paper as much as you possibly can. So yeah, I printed out some pictures and show you guys one of them. I printed out this flower one and it doesn't take up the whole thing exactly, but it was pretty good for what I'm using it for. So yeah, I have four pictures. Okay, so after you printed out all your pictures that you want, and it might take you a couple tries to like print it the way you want it to be. And yeah, you can always just cut it, but I didn't cut it in this case. So yeah, what I did was I took the picture frame and I took out the glass. So. And then I turned around the paper that it comes with and that's normally white most of the time. So I just taped it to the white and it kind of had a board around it but i thought it looked really cute so i did that four times with each picture and yeah i think it turned out really cute so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys how they turned out this is one of them and this is the city one basically this paper is turned around so it kind of looks like a white border but it's basically just the back of the paper that it already came with and Yes, yeah, since the printer paper isn't really big enough to fit this whole thing, I kind of just made like a white border with it and I think it turned out really cute. So yeah, this is one of the pictures and then the other picture is like a cliff with like the ocean. I think this is really cute and like Pinteresty. Yeah, I really wanted to do a Pinterest board because my friend showed me and it was really cute. And then this is like, I guess the beach and like a van with a whole bunch of surfboards on it and palm trees. I think this is really cute. I know this is summery, but I just love the beach in summer. So even when it's fall and winter, I'm still gonna look at it and think it's really cute. And this is the last one. It's just some white flowers. I thought it was really cute and basic. So yeah, I kind of chose pictures that had like the same kind of color scheme. I don't know, not really. But yeah, I'm just gonna arrange it how I want to on the walls. 
Okay, so the next part of this DIY is up to you. I don't know if you guys want to get like a nail or whatever it is they use to stick frames to walls. I just got these command hooks from the dollar store and it literally came with four, so that was perfect. So this is how it adds up to $5, but that's still really cheap. So yeah, I got these command hooks and I'm gonna try to put it on the wall and then just hang the um, picture frames. So if I wanna change it out, it won't be that hard. All right, let me just... All right, so... Right now, I am setting it up how I think it should look in the wall. So I'm just like putting it to see which ones look cute together. So let me just show you guys. I think this is like a really cute combination. Like the beach, flowers, city, and then the water again. So yeah, this is how I'm going to set it up and put it on this wall right here. So this is what they look like. And I'm guessing you just remove this and stick it on the wall. Well, actually, the hook's at the bottom, so maybe... Is that slanted? Oh, well. this thing and kind of bend it over and kind of put that on the hook so that it stays better so yeah all right so if you don't want to use this method the command strip or the command hooks you can use like double-sided tape but i just did this so i can easily take it down whenever i want so yeah looking so cute look at my pinterest wall honestly this needs to be moved over more i think i can move it actually or will it get all right looks like i can't move this so that's um, my fault next time you guys can measure So that looks so much better and that's really cute and I really like it and it's kind of just like inspiration too. Like if you wanted to, you could print out, like the thing I like about this is you can change it whenever you want. Just take it off the hooks, print out a different picture from your Pinterest board and change it out. So you could do like goals that you wanted or something, but these are just really cute pictures that I just always want to look at. You can change it out to any picture you want, anytime you want to. Literally all you do is print it out so you don't have to pay. And yeah, you can change it out as much as you want. So that's the really cool thing about this Pinterest wall. It literally took $5 and it's not gonna permanently damage your walls. So that's a really good thing too. So this is how it turned out. Okay, so that was my DIY dollar store Pinterest wall. Hopefully you guys like this video. And if you did, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. And if you want me to do other DIYs, dollar store, any type of like room decor, anything like that, just leave it down in the comments and I will try my hardest. I don't know if I can do it. But with the help of some friends, I definitely think I could do some DIYs. And yeah, if you like this video, share it. Send it to your friends that could use it. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, so I just wanted to come on here to announce the giveaway winner. And the giveaway winner is this person. I'm going to put their social media or their account right here. And yeah, thank you so much for supporting me. If you didn't win this giveaway, just stay tuned because I'm planning on doing another giveaway really soon. So yeah, if you want to be entered in that, just wait. And if you didn't win, I'm sorry. I still love you guys. So yeah, that's it.